for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another run scheme for you guys today. Today, I'm back in my Niners playbook. I put out just about every video this year from the Niners playbook because it's my favorite offensive playbook, and it's also the only ebook that I've made on offense so far. So, obviously, I want to push a lot of content for it. But ultimately, it's to me, it's the best playbook in the game. It's one of the glitchiest playbooks in the game. All my gameplays I've been using the Niners offensive playbook. Pretty much everything you've seen coming from me has been Niners up to this point. Now, the two videos I have planned here are probably probably going to be the last two. I'm going to show a passing scheme in my next video. Hit the like button if you guys want to see that. And I'm also going to show a run scheme today. After that, I'm probably going to move on because I'm just about ready to record either the Ravens offensive ebook or the Colts offensive ebook or maybe the Chiefs, the Bills. I get a lot of requests. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think the next ebook should be that I work on because I have a lot of candidates. Personally, I like the Ravens a lot, but if I get enough requests for Colts or Chiefs or Bills because I get a lot of requests for those, I might do those first. So let me know in the comments section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the uh, the video. Now, the formation I'm going to use, I'm going to use two different formations. They're both out of the strong. There's the strong close, which was the meta last year for a large portion of Madden 21, and the strong Y off, because there's about three or four run plays mixed in between these two formations that you can switch back and forth from. Uh, the, ha the Y off, there's really only two that I like. The halfback stretch, and then the halfback blunt dive, which will look a lot like the one in the close, which is the halfback zone weak. They're very similar. Uh, and they're both very effective and very uh, good run plays. The fourth run play is going to be the counter weak. Now I have all these in my audibles already. As you can see here, I, you can switch back and forth between these two formations. That's one of the things that makes this a really good running system, even though it's two formations and they're different formations. You can switch back and forth throughout the game. Now, I also have a ton of passing plays, which I probably won't show in this video. Hit the like button if you want to see a part two with some passing plays out of these schemes. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time click on the link in the description and use discount code money to get three percent off now as far as stretch plays goes it's real simple read it's gonna have the most success against cover threes and cover fours this looks like a cover three based off the fact those quarterbacks are out pretty far but if i'm not sure i can motion this guy across if the quarterback follows it's a man coverage and then you have an even bigger advantage based off of the fact that there's nobody there would be no cornerback outside here but this kind of looks like it's a cover three because the quarterback didn't follow so we'll motion this guy back across this is a perfect setup for this play. The tight end is typically my read. Like on the other side, we have a safety down the box. If that safety was on the other side of the field, I wouldn't want to run this. But based off the fact that my tight end is outside of their widest linebacker, this is going to be as about as good a look as I can get to run this play. And they just basically have to take it wide. You can see you get a very easy run for close to 10 yards or more. So that's going to be one of the easy ways. Right here, once again, same thing. It looks like a man coverage this time because the cornerbacks are down. It's probably a man blitz, but that's fine because I'm going to be going outside of it. So we're just going to get outside here. Um, and you can see, like I said, we're having a lot of success. A lot of it's due to the block. I feel like this particular stretch play just pulls outside so much better than most stretch plays that I found. And the fact that you have a lead block, if you see these guys, they just both pull and get out wide. Like this is this is one of the, the more effective run blocking teams when it comes to the fullback tight end combination. But it's, it's gonna be the same no matter what team you use or what offense you use. They just do a really good job of getting out wide and sealing that edge. Uh, probably better than any play that I've found so far this year. So on a play like this where that safety is right behind that linebacker, this is gonna be a, a bad choice for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch to the blunt dive. The blunt dive is going to be a better option not necessarily the best option, but you can see there's a much better opportunity to the other side because there's no safety in that box on that side. So that's really going to be the easiest read. You're looking for, um, you know, when you're running the stretch play, you're looking for outside containment. Here I don't have that. Cover three safety in the box once again. So I'm just going to switch over to the blunt drive. This is perfect. The blunt dive. This is perfect because I have a lot of spacing up front. That's what I'm going to want to run this particular play. And you can see right there, I mean, that the blocking, I'm typically going to follow that left guard. That left guard is really what's going to make this play. It didn't even look like I was going to have success there as this linebacker came down to fill right away. So this left guard, a lot of times he will double team at the point of attack and then he will get off and get to the next level. And you can see when he does that, you basically just cross his back and you're always going to have a play. Even though that was a really tight hole there, you can see the blocking is just, it's just a phenomenal blocking play. All these plays really will benefit from spacing, uh, space out defensive linemen with the exception of the stretch. 
So we're gonna go, we're gonna rock the cover, the counter weak because we haven't really hit that yet. This is not the best play because we don't really have the spacing that we want, but we're not really getting that look. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run it. And you can see we still had success. Still got 10 yards despite not having the spacing we wanna look for. Um, we're just gonna keep running this because we don't, we're not really getting that look. So let's go and let's do that again. Like I said, this is something where um, you can have a lot of success regardless of whether you get that look or not. You can see that that you know that pulling lineman really comes in handy this time, and it changes. You know, all these plays, the dynamic of your lead blocker is really changes. So on a play like this, you can see this guard pulls around, and he's going to be my lead blocker. He's the guy I'm going to follow and cut across his back to make a play. So all you know, all four of these plays have a different read, have a different lead blocker, and have a different uh, setup when it comes to what plays to run. But you can see they're all successful as long as you make the correct read. Really easy reads. Here are the saves coming down the opposite side. We'll hit him with that stretch. Great blocking. We're going to bust our first touchdown of the video. And you can see how, like I said, those they just do such a great job of sealing. I mean, I really have to do anything other than following the blockers there. So to me, without a doubt, the best three plays are definitely the blunt dive, the stretch, and the counter weak. Those are going to be the three most explosive. The weak zone is just a good run. It's just a good run to have in there. And you can see on the next play, we're getting another really big explosive one play touchdown run play going the opposite way with the counter weak. So like I said, it's just an amazing explosive run play scheme. Now, as far as some of the pass plays go, the PA boot shot's one of my favorite. It's a really good man beating play. Let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, it's very specific to man blitz zero or man cover one. All I gotta do is put the X route here on a smart route and that's it. That's all I really have to do. And this X route here, is just going to be gone once he turns up the field. I mean, that's something that uh, the stop and go route is going to have success against just about any man coverage. You just have to make sure that there's no safety over the top. So let's go. Let's go to the replay here. Like I said, this guy here, once he gets, you know, if he gets, if he gets to this point, you just lob it up. But it's a play you can definitely take advantage of. So just smart route it, real simple. You have a couple of good zone checkdowns as well. As you can see here once again, we get it again there. Like I said, not a huge speed advantage, but you can see it's enough. To score an easy 50 play, one play touchdown, or 50 yard, one play touchdown. This play is pretty specific to man, but they have some pretty good man zone checkdowns. Like the B route there has an all out man blitz. You see, he gets open right over the middle and he gets open pretty quickly. He'll also get open against a lot of zones, although it looks like we're getting another man blitz. So, like I said, I really have my option here. If somebody's sending the house, I mean, I don't have to wait for that, uh, that stop and go route. The way, these, the way they're setting the house up makes me wonder if I, if I even, you know. Here we go, we got a zone coverage. So like I said, that's a really good check down no matter what the coverage is, a good route. There's also the PA slide, which you're probably gonna wanna put a faster back at the fullback spot if you wanna play like this, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's go and let's pick that one and go random again. Let's play here, you got your man beaters, which is the A route and the X route, and then you got your zone beaters, which is the RB route, A route, and B route. If it's a zone coverage, you're just basically watching from front to back there. We can see we got a man coverage, we'll just take Kittle right over the middle. So we'll go ahead and do this a few times. Like I say, you're just reading front to back. And right here, it looks like we have a really big play. I don't know if that was a cover three or that was a man coverage or what, but you can see it gets wide open. Let's go and let's do that again. So that B route there has to cover two this time. We're gonna go right over the middle of that. Like I said, I mean, it, it, the deeper route has a lot of success against a lot of different things. So let's do this one more time. So that A route, that looked like a man coverage. We'll take that. Maybe it was a man zero blitz. I mean, it's really just front to back. Real easy reads. Full back, tight end, receiver. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to move on. Actually, I'm going to end the video there because ultimately I want to save some run plays for my Patreon scheme. And all the past plays will be on there as well. On my Patreon and my Join Out Community tab on my ebooks, all that stuff. But we're gonna end the video there. So if you guys wanna see part two, you wanna see a full breakdown, I typically like to put those out on like Saturdays or Sundays when people are home. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching that much shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.